question. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our course on electromagnetic compatibility. My name is Bernd Deutschmann, I'm the head of the Institute of Electronics and together with my team we would like to give you quite a lot of information on this special topic. Why is this important? Why it should bother us all? Answer is very simple. We are surrounded by a lot of electronic systems and it's very important that these electronic systems work properly within their electromagnetic environment. Without causing troubles by generating too much electromagnetic emission or being susceptible to electromagnetic interferences. Yeah, welcome. I'm, I'm David Pomeranke. I'm faculty member here at the Graz University of Technology in the Electromagnetic Compatibility Lab together with Bernd Deutschmann. And before I came here, I came here in 2020, I was at the EMC laboratory in Rolla, Missouri in the United States for about 20 years. And my main interest here in, in this area is um, electromagnetic compatibility, so which is the interaction of um, electromagnetic fields and circuits. It's one area. The other area I look at electrostatic discharge. So, hi, my name is Dominic. I'm working at the Institute of Electronics at TU Graz. Um, I'm working as a university assistant uh, and I'm basically involved in teaching and research. Uh, so, hi, my name is Leonhard. I'm, I'm, I'm working here at the Institute for Electronics in, in, for, for David Pomerenke. And I'm working here on the topic of uh, the harmonic creation of TVS diodes. My name is Ko Odretz and I'm university assistant at Graz University of Technology. Uh, I'm Mehdi Rolizade, I'm a PhD student um, working with uh, David Pomerenke. So within the course, my team and I would like to give you quite a lot of information on how to design electronic systems, especially how to design the printed circuit board, how to place decoupling capacitors or how to design a filter in order to reduce the electromagnetic emission. We would also like to give you quite a lot of information on how to characterize your electronic system. For example, what measurement techniques are available to measure the electromagnetic emission or to characterize the immunity of your system. The immunity, for example, against radio frequency interferences or against electrostatic discharges. So you walk on the carpet or you take off a sweater and then you touch um, electronics like a cell phone and there's a little spark injecting current which can upset or destroy the circuits. This is sort of the general area we're working on. Of course every question is, is always specifically and we address them by experimental work, by analytic work, by numerical work. And we work with many industrial partners because many of these, um, these problems um, are born out of the question of reliability uh, of electronic circuits. <laughs> My name is Michael Fuchs. Um, I'm a university assistant here at the Institute of Electronics and I love teaching electronics. Uh, also, I love the research on EMC, especially um, with the focus on the simulation of electromagnetic disturbances. Yeah, I am uh, Christoph Meyer and I'm an electrical engineer and my main interests are electronics and electronic circuit design. Okay, so I'm Ray and uh, I am from China. Uh, and uh, I'm the PhD student at the uh, Institute of Electronic now. Uh, I'm working with Dr. Pomeranke's group currently and uh, with some of the research, really interesting research program. So what's the fascinating thing about electromagnetic compatibility? For example, if you are designing an electronic system and this electronic system is not passing the EMC requirements because the electromagnetic emission that is generated by this electronic system is too high, then after the course, you should know, for example, where to place a right decoupling capacitor at the right location on your printed circuit board and suddenly your electromagnetic emission is reduced by, for example, more than 20 dB. That's the cool thing and that's what we are going to learn. What fascinates me is I'm, I'm, I've been electronic designer for many, many years, yeah, since childhood. And what fascinates me, um, in, if you do electronic design, you think about voltage and current and signaling. But if you want to understand the interaction of circuits with the surrounding, you cannot limit your thinking itself to voltage and current. Yeah, I love electronics since I was a child. <laughs> and the fascin fascinating thing about electronics is without electronics, nothing would work in the modern world. What fascinates me so much about EMC is its wide range of disciplines. 
one has to expand that thinking. And the first level of expansion is quite simple, that if there's a forward current with data, there must be a return current somewhere. And that's often, well, not well defined where it flows. The next is that the actual, the, the information is not carried in the current or in the voltage. The actual information or energy is carried in the field. It's very helpful to, to uh, deeply understand. It's, it's super interesting and, and yeah. And what I really like uh, in working at Theo Graz and also at our institute is, um, is being involved in many different discussions, either in teaching or in research. And, um, and with these discussions, we, uh, we somehow always come to better solutions than only oneself would. The interesting thing is, we built computers with faster and faster clock frequencies. But did you know that these high switching frequencies also radiate electromagnetic waves and can thus interfere with a cardiac pacemaker, for example. So there's a wire. The current in the wire is irrelevant. The field around it is important and the current is a response to the field. So one has to expand the thinking from circuit to field. And then it gets really interesting. And that's exactly the boundary where we work in. We don't work at super complicated electronic circuits and we don't work at purely antenna system, which is purely field. We work at the interaction of how field changes circuits or how circuits cause field. And, and, and working in this area, uh, which is in many cases um, intuitively done, and of course some numerical work, is a, that, that's basically, I think, a very interesting challenge. My main research interest is uh, electromagnetic compatibility of integrated circuits and uh, there I'm especially focusing on, um, on simulations and simulation tools and post-processing tools uh, that enable um, us to find uh, problems in designs. Uh, you will experience, experience a lot of uh, uh, praxis relevance and, and that's, that's really cool about the EFA. So after attending the course we hope that you are able to design electronic systems first time right, especially regarding their electromagnetic compatibility. And to make our future electronics more secure. We, the stuff we're testing, like the power spy union, we blow up privacy, it's quite a, enjoyable, actually. A funny moment. Uh, no. <laughs> like, every day you learn something new here, and, and that's really, really great experience. So follow us into a fascinating world of electromagnetic compatibility. Looking forward to seeing you in our class.